Hello, my name is Derry Armand and this is my individual project on flow, flow simulations in an impulse steam turbine. The aim of the project was to analyse the flow of steam through an impulse steam turbine. The objectives were to research steam flow, research inlet and outlet design and analyse the design of the turbine to see where it could be improved in the future. The background of the project was that it's built off of a uh, group project that was done before Christmas. The group project was to design and build an impulse steam turbine. Um, the turbine will be located in the lab and will turn a dynamometer which will read the output from the turbine itself. The impulse turbine is comprised of three rotors and three stators, an inlet and an outlet. Um, the, the project also looks at the redesign of the inlet and outlet to see where they could be improved to maximise the amount of steam going in and coming out of the turbine itself. Um, the project will be done using flow simulations and solid works. This will enable me to look at how the steam flows throughout the turbine and see is there any high pressure areas or where the steam is restricted or the design could be improved to help it. The turbine model itself had to have some slight alterations made to it to run the flow simulation from what was originally decided upon for the group project. It had to be simplified so that the runtime would be quicker and some parts had to be removed in order to um, facilitate the flow simulation and the rotating regions within the turbine itself. Things like the wizard um, were used to set up the flow simulations itself by defining the pressures and the volume flow rates and the temperatures of the steam that was used within the turbine. The flow simulations were carried out on the turbine and it showed an even flow of steam throughout the whole turbine from the inlet to the outlet. There didn't seem to be any high pressure areas or any blockages within the turbine itself. The results from the experiment showed the even flow throughout the whole turbine. There was no large build ups or restrictions in the pressure inside the turbine and the redesign of the inlet and outlet seemed to aid the flow of steam into the turbine and out the far side. Thank you.